Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study an aspect of engineering drawing which is called gear. We will be constructing the size of the tooth of the gear. Now in our previous video we did, we just constructed a spore gear. Now we want to construct a machine gear. Now look at this question. It says a 300 mm pitch cycle diameter involute spore gear is to mesh with a pinion with a 200 mm pitch cycle diameter if the gear have a pressure angle of 20 degree and a module of it draw full size 40 on each gear in mesh at the pitch point give table of gear data now the first thing we have to do, we need to tabulate this in the table. Now let's do that. These are the tables and these are the terminologies that we use in gear. Now we say we have two gear involved in this situation now. A sport gear which is the bigger gear and a pinion gear which is the smaller gear. Now if you look at what this question is telling us, it says a 300 millimeter pitch circle diameter involute spore gear. So the pitch circle diameter of the spore gear is 300. So I'm going to write my 300 here. I'm going to write the 300 there. 300 millimeter. Right? And um, the pinion gear is what? 200 millimeter what is called 200 millimeter right now you said if the gear have a pressure angle that means our pressure angle is 20 degree so you see if the gas they're talking about both of them now they have the same pressure angle which is 20 degree Now, the module is the same for both of them, which is what? 8. We have 8 for the module. Right? Now, what else again do we have? It says we should draw for the size of teeth. I mean, the size of teeth is short. 4. So, the size of teeth is 4. There is 4 here size of teeth for for both of them so now what about the number of teeth how can I get the number of teeth we know that from calculation that our pitch cycle diameter is equals to the number of teeth the number of teeth times the module to write your number of teeth to, show, to become your PCD is what? 300. Right? The PCD is 300. And the number of teeth is not given. The number of teeth, let me call it NT, number of teeth, times the module given is what? Is 8. So if I make my number of teeth, comma, um, besides that formula, it will be number of teeth to be equal to what? 300 all over 8. Now this is for what? the spore gear that we are calculating for this is for the spore gear right so 300 300 divided by 8 will be to give you 38 if you divide 300 over 8 that is dividing the PCD over number of teeth will give you dividing PCD over the mode will give you the number of teeth so 300 divided by 8 will give you 38 approximately and 200 divided by 8 will give you 25 approximately using this formula here now we know very well that our addendum our addendum is equal to what our module so if the module is 8 automatically the addendum also is what is 8 uh, like i said in my earlier video the addendum is the radial height of the teeth above the pitch circle now the addendum we know that the addendum is equal to what the addendum plus the clearance so if i calculate that 
it will be that my dividendum is equal to um, 0 0.25 multiplied by the 8 because this is the addendum here addendum is from our previous videos so from here 0 0.25 multiplied by 8 0 0.25 multiplied by 8 it give us 2 so 8 plus 2 and we'll be having our dividendum to be what 10 millimeter so the dividendum will be 10 <coughs> I'll fill in this box 10 millimeter right 10 millimeter also here also we have 10 millimeter so from here the BCD so what is my BCD my base circle diameter we call it the BCD is equals to what the P circle diameter cause what cause the module the pressure angle sorry so what is my PCG? My PCG for the spot gear will be 300 or better still we are going to use an angle to construct them. So if I want to construct it my PCG will give me 300 cos 20 this is for the spot gear and also for the pinion gear my PCG be my base circle diameter because the what the PCD or the pinion gear cause what the pressure angle also and that will give me 200 cause 20 so this is so the pinion this for what the spore so if I should do that I'll have a um, 300 cause 20 that will be 281.90 so we have for this 281.91 then 200 cross 20 200 cross 20 give us 187.93 187.93 now this is the PCD. Now the next thing is the circular pitch. We know very well that my circular pitch, the circular pitch, is equals to pi times what module. So what is my module here? My module for both of them is eight. So if I multiply pi times eight shift I'll be having 25.13 so my particular piece here is 25 25.13 here also we have 25.13 that will be my circular pitch the circular tooth thickness, let me call it the tooth thickness. Tooth thickness will give me the circular pitch all over what? Two. All the circular pitch, you see this is 25.13, so it will be 25.13 all over two. So that will give us four, that will give us 12.57. 12.57 now from here so my circular to thickness is what 12.57 to have 12.57 so we'll do this when we are done with our diagram now I haven't filled up the table it's time for me to draw our gear that is missing the spore gear and the pinion gear so let's start the first thing you draw is for you to draw the PCD now we have the P circle diameter is what for the spore gear is 300 and for the pinion is what um, 200 so I will do this I'm going to do this I will draw a straight line like this 
on it and I'll mark the center of the sheet line this way I'm going to take it up a little bit I'll mark it up like this like that so at this point where they meet here will be my center line so from this point I'm going to measure this side will be for my pinion and this side will be for my what my spoke so from here we say the pinion is what 200 and the spoke is 300 so I'm going to measure um 200 from here I mean 300 from here and 200 from here so we need half of it so half of 300 is 150 so since I didn't with the diameter, so I'm going to measure 150 from here. So this is what we have. This is 150 from this point here. So I'm going to call it um, my point P. My reference point P. And I'm going to measure 100 from here which will give me from 0 we start from 1 to 11 800 or better still I use this to so take half of 200 which is 100 1 to 10 so I'll call this also my reference point to P so I have a measure from here to here to be 200 to be 200 to be 100 half of because you see diameter we're dealing with radius so from here to here is 100 and from here to here is what 150 so what I'm going to do is I'll take my compass and place it at P here I'll take it to this point hmm? and I'm going to draw this all right and I'll come here also. This is at P here too on the spot side. I'll take it here too. So I'll take it here too. I'm going to draw this. Okay, that is what we have. So I've drawn the PCD for both gear. The PCD for the spore. This is the PCD. Let me write it here. PCD for the spore. So, this is the PCD for here. PCD for the spore. And PCD for the pinion. For the pinion and the spore. Now the next we will draw is the addendum, right? So the addendum is the radial height of the tooth above the piece circle. So I'll concentrate on one of them first, which is let me start with the spore. So let's start. The addendum will say it is what? If you look at what I have here, my addendum here is um, 8. Look at it. Addendum is 8 for both of them. So I'm going to measure my 8 from point P. So I'll take my compass and I'll place it at this point here, right? And I'll first of all, first of all measure it upward first. To measure it from here, it upward. So from zero to ten to here is this eight. So let me zoom it so you see what I'm talking about. So I measure it. This is it here, right? It's for the so I'll take my compass, place it at the reference point, which is this. This reference point here. So I take it to this point. I'm going to draw. All good. And what we have there. So that will be my addendum. So I'll write it addendum. 
I don't know. Now, the next thing I'll do is for me to draw. If I'm doing them simultaneously, I will make mistake, right? So this is just my addendum. So I'll do the next one will be the addendum. I will say the addendum is ten. What we calculated, we say the addendum is ten. Agree? The addendum is what ten. I've calculated it already. So I will measure ten. So I'm going to measure ten from this center line here. Don't forget. So ten downward. The addendum with their depth of the tooth below the piece circle. So I'm just ten. Now this is ten here. So I'll take from this point ten. I'm going to go to my reference point. I'll go to my reference point here. P and I'll place it out at the addendum here. Right? And I'm going to draw. Oh, good. Where's the dendum? I'm going to write it. This should be the dendum here. The dendum. So, the next thing we want to draw is the base circle. So, we say the base circle is the um, PCD course what the pressure angle right so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at my base circle that I got here which is um, 281 as my base circle so if I divide it into two right if I divide it into two I'll be having my base circle to be 140.95 since I'm dealing with the spore I'll be focusing on the spore here so 140.95 so I'm going to measure it from here now since it's 140.95 I'll measure it from this point here on my metal roof so 140.95 so I'll pause it 141 so I'm going to measure 141 so from zero here let me zoom it up so you see I'll be having it to this point. This is 140. This is 140. It's 141 approximately, right? So you guys can do it that way. So to get the pressure angle, you take your protractor. Since you are told this is there are two ways in doing it. In my previous video I showed you one, but this one, you take your protractor and you place it at the center here like this ensure that this vertical line here you are seeing this the first line we draw the vertical line should be on this line let me zoom it so you see what I'm talking about so let me zoom it now if you look at this point here you just gauge it ensure this nine this zero is on the line on this horizontal line and the other zero two on this horizontal line here then the 90 should be on the vertical line so we need the pressure angle of 20 degrees so in doing that i'll just take my um i'll measure this zero from here this 90 right that will be zero then 20 this 20 degree so this is my 20 degree so i'm 20 degree that i measured here i'm going to pass it through this center can you see that? I'll pass it to the center. So we have this this way. So let me show you. So let's go down. There's my pressure angle. So the angle between here, between here and here, is what? 20 degree right now the next thing we'll be doing here will be drawing a line that is tangential to the base circle 
So, if you want to watch if you are correct, is that if I draw a line tangent to the base circle, I'll be having something like this. From here, I will take you to this point here. Right? It should be tangential to it. But I mean, when I mean tangential, I mean this. Let me show you so you see what I'm talking about. You should be touching it. So I'll have this. It's almost on the same line with the ECD. Right? So, let's move forward. Now, from here, if you measure it now, you see that you also have half of what we had before. We said 140 point. If you divide, let's measure first and see. From zero to this point to here, we're having 141, right? 141. So let's see if it conform with what we have here as our PC, our BCD. Our BCD here is 281.91. So if I divide 281.91, 281.91. Divided by 2, so I'm going to be having 140. See, it's the same thing. So, either you do it that way or you do it this way. So, we move forward now. The next thing we want to do after drawing the base circle, the base circle is on the same line as the addendum of a few millimeters upward. So let me just assume I don't want them to be on the same point, it is a few millimeters upward. So I'm going to do that. So, this is a few millimeter upward. Now, from here, we've haven't withdrawn the base circle, the base circle, and um, the dendrum. This is the base circle here. Let's say this is my B C D. Now the next thing is, we are going to pick a point on the addendum, let's say A, and on the base circle also, let's say E. So any of them. Now, in doing that, we are going to look for one third of AE. If you watch the previous video, you get to understand. So let me just save our time and move to that extent. So if you want to know how to draw this gear, watch on the previous video. You will to understand what I'm about to do here now. If I zoom this, this is AE, right? Now, one third of AE will be you measure AE. So let me just actually measure AE. And I'm having like um that to be 15, 16, 17, 18. That should be 18 divided by 3. And that'll give us 6. So I'm going to measure 6 from A. So this is 6 here. From A. And that point will be my point B. Right? So I'm going to measure the point B to be tangential. To point A, I measure the point B to be tangential toward the base circle. So if I measure my point B, tangential to the base circle here. So this is the base circle. Let me show you what I'm trying to do here. So let me zoom it. So if I place it on B, tangential to the base circle. I'll be having this. So that is it. So it's starting short to this point. Let me see here. So where it cuts here, I'm going to call it um, F. Point F. So that point F, I will look for one third one fourth of point F. So I'll measure 
from 0 to the B from F to B I'm having this is 40 45 that will be 48 so that'll be 48 so if I divide 48 divided by 2 I'll be having 24 All right so I'm going to measure 24 from F 24 this is 10 20 and this is 24 here All right so I'm having that and I'll take my compass place it at this point and I'll have this so this point here sorry this that will be our radial line so now I'll call that point that I mark here that, that is 24 I'll call it point D so from point D just like in the previous video we are going to place it at F place it at D here to B Mm -hmm. Place a B to D, and you're going to draw your arc this way to cut through B and touch here. So, where it cuts the pitch circle PCD, this is the PCD here. Yeah, let's trace it and see. Now, this is the PCD. This is PCD here, right? So I'm going to where it cuts there. I'll call it, it cuts it somewhere around here on this point. I'm going to call it point C. So from point C, I'm going to mark it round. Now we have in this. So point C now will be the reference point for my teeth. So the initial point of my teeth thickness. So if you look at the two thickness here, the two thickness here is given to be circular two thickness is what? 12.57, approximately 13. So I'm going to measure 13 from C. Hmm? I'm going to measure 13 from C. So we measure my 13. From zero to this point here is thirteen. And I'll place it at this C my mark round. So this will be one, two, this is one teeth, one side of teeth. Right? This is one. This is two. This is another size of two. That which is two. So I see this here again. This is one, two. This is another size of two, which is three. This is one. Then two. The size of this is four. So we have one size of teeth. This first two. One size of teeth, two sides of teeth, this one, three sides of teeth, then four because we need that many sides of teeth. We need the size of teeth should be four. Size of teeth should be what? Four. So we haven't done that. We we'll start. Now look at this. We did this in our previous video. Now look at this. I placed it from D. And I got this. Let me put on this. I place it on this. Right? Okay. I place it on this. On D, and I got two point C here. Right? Now, this is. 
from this point here, we can look at this now. Let me make you understand something. I call this left. This is right. This is left. This is right. This is left. Also, this is right. This is left. So, if from on right here, from D, I got this. Then I'll place it on this point. Since it's this point, I'm calling here right side, left side. So from left side here, I'll mark on right side. Just like I explained in the earlier video. Watch the previous video, you get to understand. And I'll switch it to get this. This is one side of it. I'll come here also the next one. So I know I say this is right. This is right, this is left, this is what? Right. So I'll place it on right and mark on left. On that. So, i mark on that point D, that line D that we have here. I'll mark on it. So I'll switch it to, the, to go to the point so that I can draw my line from here. So I'll come on left also. I'll mark on right on my D. I'll interchange it to get here. The other side of it, right? And also, I'll come to this point too. Now this is left. After right, we we'll have left. On left. I'm going to change it and mark on that same line of D. I'll switch it to this point. I'll get this. Right? I'll come on this right and mark on left side. I'll switch it. I'm going to have this. I'll come on this point too. I'll mark on the left side. I'll switch it. I'm going to have this. I'll come here too. Mark on this other side. I'll switch it. I'll have this. So this is four sides of it. Watch the previous video, you understand the concept very well. Now from here, this is my P, right? I can place this my compass on P. And I will have this to close the top here. So I've closed the top. Now for me to draw the fillet. So to clear for the fillet is the wider over seven. Where is the wider? The distance from one tooth to the corresponding the beginning of one tooth to the corresponding beginning. That is from here. Click up. Mm -hmm. And it's from this beginning to the next beginning. So this is zero. From here, this is 38. 38, right? I mean, 28, if I'm not mistaken. So that is 8 by 7. So, so we're having 4. So the four I'm going to measure for compass, and this is the four here, and you place it here. You're going to place it at this point here. Mm -hmm. Place it at this point here, and you mark up and down. You can see that. Then you do the same thing. You place it here. And you get this, and you place it here, and you get this. So what they meet is like you're having to get your point of intersection. They meet somewhere around here. So I'll place it here, and I'll get this. And also here too. I'll cut here. I'll cut here. 
Les étiers, les étiers, les étiers, les étiers. This is radius. We're going to get this. So in the long run, I'll be having something from this point. So I can use my compass. From this point, I'll take it here and I'll close it up. Hope you can see that. I'm going to repeat the same process for everything. So I've closed it up with the same four again. I'll come to this point where it touches here. I'll cut the horizontal, I'll cut the vertical where they meet here I'll cut here where they meet here also I'll cut here so with that same radius place at the center and I'll have another like this come here also where the cut here I'll cut here and cut here place at this point strike an arc so this one also strike an arc so what I meet I'll have a turn like this so with the help of my wool I'll come to this point and I'll move it to this point here and I'll get this so this is what I'm going to do for everything so this is what I'm going to have for this gear now I want to draw the pinion so, if you look at this line here, the center line you're seeing here, let me zoom it. This vertical line coming down here, and this line coming like this, that is the line from my pitch circle diameter for my pinion. You can see that? It's meeting here. So, I'm going to measure my pinion. The addendum of the pinion is also 8, right? If you look at right here, the addendum of the pinion, this is the pinion here. Pinion, the addendum is 8, just like the base circle, so I will measure 8 from that point too. So that one will do measure 8, let me zoom it. So, I'll measure 8. From this point here, upward. So this is eight. And to stop at E here. So on this point here, that is where my addendum of the pinion is. So what I will do is my addendum is E. So I'm going to take my compass and measure it from E from this point P. Take it to E, right? And I'm going to draw my circle, my arc. So that will be my addendum. Looking about here. So the up there here. This is my addendum. Now the next thing is the base circle. The base circle I calculated for is this. This is my base circle here. This, I mean the random is 10, also is 10 here. So I'm going to measure 10. So from this point, this circle is below. So from this point here, I'll measure 10 down. So measuring 10 from the each point. So if I measure 10, I'll be having from here to here is 10. So I'll be having this is will be my E. Hmm? And here is my A. I'll call it my the E here will be my A here. 
that will not confuse. So the addendum of the opinion is A and the addendum of the opinion is E. Right? So I'll now use my compass to measure that. Uh -huh. So the help of my compass. I'll take it to E here. And I'm going to draw. So that will be the dendum. The dendum. The dendum. Now the pressure angle. Now for my pressure angle, I'll get my base circle. Now we know very well that this is our pressure angle here. Look, this line here you see. So I'll only take my compass, place it on the point P, and put it on the pressure angle here. To ensure that it is what tangential to it, and I will not draw. So, this will be my B circle. This will be my B C D. Here will be my B C D, my B circle. Now the next thing is, after doing that, I'm going to mark. Um, this is E, right? This is E, and this is, and the addendum is A. So I'll look for one third of AE. So that is one third of AE. So I'm going to measure from this point E here to here, and I'm having from A. Let me show it. So I'm going to the A, the addendum of my pinion gear and E here is the name of my pin uh, my pinion gear. So from A to E is like saying you're measuring 20, 18. That is 18. So 18 divided by 3 is 6. So I measure 6 from A here. So this is 6 here. So that'll be my new B. My new what? My new B. Now I'll draw a line. Cardential from B to my B circle the pinion, just like what I did. I'm replicating what I've done before, so I'm replicating it. So, trace this B to my B circle here to my B circle. So, I'll not draw, I'll just draw this. This is what I have, right? So, where it meets, we will call it my F. My new F, so that will be my new F. So I'll look for one third of FB, just like the spore. So FB, I'll have um, this is 10, 20, 30, 38. So 38 divided by 4 will be give me 9.5. So I measure my 9.5 here, which is approximately 10. Here from F. So I'll just come here and I'll cut it here. So I'll cut that point point D. So from point D, I will draw my radial arc with the radius of this. It's radius of this point here to this point. I'm going to draw this. I call it radial arc. And it is point D. So there is no your eye there. So now the next thing we've done after getting this point with the radius of D here. Let's zoom it out. With D here, you place your compass at B here. All good. You place it at B here. You draw an arc here this way. I'll touch here. So to be touching the addendum of this. Draw an arc, I'll touch here. Right, so from that point it touches here. 
from this point here where it touches the base circle you start marking the thickness we have the same circular two thickness just like it implies here we have the same circular thickness which is 12.5 approximately 13 so I'll just use the same circular two thickness here so I can just take the measurement of these two here in between here and here hmm? I'll start marking around on the B circle so my BCD will be this so I start marking down I'll have this I'll come here also I'll cut this let's cut it around and there. I won't come here too mark here and here we need we just need four so in doing that we'll just take the distance between D and B here hmm? and we'll start marking so if I use this to get this I'll place it on this point here I mark my two thickness and I'll mark on D here which is this which is D here which is this and I'll turn it back and I'll draw my arc Right, then I'll place it at this other thickness here, which is this. This other thickness here. I'll place it here and I'll cut here on the D also. This is the D I'm talking about. This D, you trace it is the one up here. So I'll place it at that point. I'll get this. And I'll place it on this other thickness here too. I'll cut here. I'll turn it to this point. We're already replicating what we've done. Then I'll come to this thickness here too. This one thickness, another, I'm, I'm one size, another size, this is another size here. So I'll place it here. On this, and I'll turn it to get this. I'll come here also, mark here, turn this, and I'll get this. The same thing too, here too. Another thickness here, I'll place it here. But it needs four sides of teeth. So I'll mark here. Yeah. Turn it. And I have this. Okay. Then I'm talking about this two sides here. So the same way. Right here from B to D. Come here, mark down. Have this. These are the four size of teeth that we have. So, in our ground, we'll close them up. So, with the help of from P. I'll place it here and I'll get this. I'll close it up too. Close it up too. And here too. 
So we'll do the same fillets here and we'll be having something like this. We have successfully drawn our gear meshing together. So if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you very much.